Oh, so. a piece of the pie. <laughs> got a piece of the pie. It's pie. It's my favorite part of it all. When you and me deck the halls, making everything look just like it should at your side. The parcels are all under the tree, right where they should be. Bacon flavor protein cookies. Bacon flavor protein cookies. Even Molly's here. Macy's, Macy's here. Soon everything is crisp and fine. Disney Bonafide. And so are all of you. Does this come true? These few days go by so fast. morning guys welcome to today's video i got gabby on dishes today so uh, yesterday i showed you that somebody sent me a new pink stirrups western stirrups for christmas i'm gonna put those on my saddle today but what i didn't show you is is that they also sent us biscuits and gravy gravy like That's we take mix and no it's gravy oh I thought, I thought it was pancakes. We we live in Canada and it's not a big meal thing here. So I can honestly say that we've never ever had biscuits and gravy. Not ever in our whole entire lives. But today that's going to change. We're going to try it. So these are the biscuits that we got. I have them on my uh, trusted pizza stone. And I'm going to bake those in the oven. I'm going to make the gravy. And I'm going to make us some biscuits and gravy for breakfast for the first time ever. Uh, Gabby, do you think you're going to like it? No. Why? Because I don't like gravy or biscuits. She doesn't like gravy or biscuits. Do you think you're going to like it? Maybe. Why? Because I like biscuits. I don't know if I like gravy. Yeah. Typically, I'm not a gravy person, but lately I've been craving gravy and I've been liking the salt in gravy, so my body must be needing more salt. But we're going to try it. We're going to try this pepper gravy mix and it makes biscuits and gravy okay. while i'm cooking that if you need salt just get a salt lick They're yeah good. we should get a salt lick while i'm cooking breakfast for us sam's down there getting hay putting hay in the barn um but while i'm cooking i'm going to show you this cute little clip that happened this morning when sophie let honey out of her stall she's been training her she's been teaching her that when she opens the stall door she can't go out. She has to wait until Sophie tells her she can do it. So, is she good? Yeah. Is she learn really fast? Yeah. Is she still walking better? Yeah. Yeah. She All just right. didn't run out today. Okay, because you didn't let her. And that's really good to be making her listen. You see Sophie in the camera. She's just talking to me, minding her own business. If you look down the Sophie, you see what's happening underneath the camera. That is what happens a lot in our family. This dog never is away from her. So you guys watch that clip. I'll come and then come back and I'll show you guys our finished breakfast. Little pony waits. Good girl. Don't let her out until she does wait. Come on. Hey. <laughs> She's running ahead of me. All right. So this is what it turned out like. It looks super yummy. Do you like it? I'll let you know when I eat it. And I have some oranges that I'm gonna that I'm gonna give too. Let's see yours, Sam. I made a sandwich with dipping sauce. Sam made his into a uh, sandwich and he dipped dinner. it into the gravy. Mine was good. So uh, today I'm gonna get Gabby to put my new stirrups on my saddle. Let's see. Where is my saddle? It's under here. I keep these saddle pads up here because I'm afraid of the mice. To be honest. So these are my old stirrups. They're like super huge compared to the new ones. I'll show you guys. Old versus new. Actually, they're really similar in size. For where your feet go. These ones are just big and bulky. These ones are just cute. All right, so what's on the docket today? I'm gonna work on stuff with Lola. And she's been doing so good with Honey. Training her like to listen. Like she is such a good little pony, man. 
I know I keep saying that. I call her baby horse. She calls her baby horse. I call her honey bear because she is a honey. So if you got new gibbets for her, her Crocs. Why are you wearing Crocs? I thought you washed them and you're not going to wear them in the barn. I thought you were going to wear winter boots. You know I don't listen to myself. <laughs> we all don't listen to ourselves. So not long ago, I explained to you guys how in our family, we all have different jobs that we do. So we all work together to run our little farm and we all do different things. So the right person for the job of putting on my new stirrups is who? Gabby. Gabby. <laughs> I'm gonna let Gabby do that because we needed some kind of tool to unturn the thing, unscrew the thing, and that is not me. That's not my thing. Two ponies behind the door. Hello. Yep. Well, hello, honey bear. Hello. Hello. See how cute she is? Like, she's just so friendly. She's slow. She moves slow. She's just such a sweet little girl. Sophie's checking to see if she's injured. I don't think she is. Let's see that face. Let me see that face. She'd definitely be. <laughs> she likes it. Let me see that face. No, there's no blood. She probably just rubbed it on something. Yeah. Else. See those lips? But you definitely need a brush because that happened. Yeah. I'm going to take her in and give her a brush. Literally the first 10 minutes that we come down to the barn, first half hour. Ah, get in there. The first half hour is literally like cleaning up stuff. All right, Gabby, come here. I'm going to show you. I want you to put those on there. Do you know where the tools are? You don't need tools. Dad said you have to get something to unscrew these. No. Oh. You don't. Use your fingers? Yes. All right. Let me know how that goes for you. There they are. Thank you, Gabby. All beautiful. And so cute. I can't wait to ride in them. I actually found one of our flags. Not the one I got for Christmas last year because that one broke really fast when I left it in the arena. Oh, here it is. This one here, it's like really light. I don't even know what that's made out of, but it's not heavy. Heavy. This one's heavier and we have, and it extends. So there's this one. So I found it in the house. Sam bought all of us one. And this is one of the girls. And Sophie and I are going to be using it. <laughs> So the thing about honey is that because her stifles have been, her legs are so straight. <laughs> so honey's legs have always been so super straight. And her heels have always been like a little bit elevated since before we got her. <laughs> She's just running around like crazy. So what happened is that when her heels were a little bit elevated, it forced her to walk on her toes and forcing her to walk on her toes and walking on her toes made her stifled straight. Wow. The rest of the year may be hard to come by. So right now I know, it's a big difference. So our farrier recently lowered her heels. Our farrier recently lowered her heels to force her to walk back further on her foot and stop toe walking. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> Every time Ruby Every time Ruby tries to play with her, Miss Mama comes in and is like, oh, we'll make sure you're good to my baby. But Ruby's the closest thing as a full friend that she has. <laughs> Ruby's like, I'll play. <laughs> her feet are still really straight. It's gonna take time, but I definitely noticed the first change that we've seen since we bought her.
Gabby's using the new brush that she got from Greenhawk in her little bag that she got from her uh, award ceremony, her banquet for riding. It's so your grooming. It's your grooming glove. We're this is mom. the year of the grooming well, glove. Mom. Yeah, mom oh, has a grooming glove. where's your grooming glove? I don't know. It's in the Look, bag. yeah, it's in there hanging up. Did you see the bag hanging up? No. Go get it. I want to see you try it. Can I use these black ones? Sure. It's a grooming day, you guys. It is a grooming day. I got Penny with me. Sophie's got the little mini, and Gabby's doing her dog. It's not a brush. Anymore. I think it is. Why does it have this little? I don't know. Is it for washing? Try it on her and see if it works. She's like, I will bring my ball. Come here, grab it. Leave it. Come on. Come here. Grab it. Good. Gabby thinks it's a bathing mitt. Oh, it's not for washing. Oh, all right. I'm sorry. Oh, it works a little. Just not as good as the one that. Oh, it works really well. Look at that. Just not as good as mine. Her main is getting to the stage where it's starting to turn, and Sophie wants to really be diligent about keeping it on the right side. So she's gonna work with work on that so that it grows always on the. Did you see the sappy? So that it's going to the right. What are you gonna do? Uh, elastic it? Braid it. Let it grow naturally. But then you end up with willow. Willow has thick pony manes. So She's gonna, gonna have thick pony mane too. Her parents have thick pony manes. Then cut it. She's actually teaching her pony to put her feet in a bucket, which I don't know if that's a good thing. She wants to do it now just in case she ever needs to soak her feet. She wants to train her that it's okay to put your foot in a bucket. Okay, back it up. But she's not scared. She wants to go to you, that's why. She's like, help, I have my foot in a bucket. Next one. <laughs> Good girl. What a good girl. Yeah. Here. Here. All right. So, oh man, you guys, it just took me two hours to clean her and she's still dusty and I still missed a bunch of spots. Holy moly. But I'm going to take her halter off, but she's in heat. So she's peeing all down her tail. I have to put like all this cream on her bum. Like a lot of cream on her bum because if I don't do that, then the urine will sit on her and make her sore. So I have to wash her off. I have to bring like warm cloths down and warm water down. I have a kettle in the barn I've been using. And then I have to wash everything and then I have to brush her tail. I don't know. I'm going to have to brush, wash this tail. She's got to be almost done. She's got to be almost done. Oh man. Hopefully this is the last heat she goes through because... It's been wild. She's staying in to have her lunch so that she has time to dry out. This is the amount of dirt that I got from her today. All this dirt is all from Penny. Well, some from Molly too. Guys, Chino is loving her. He just came, oh. He just came running like a bat out of heck. Yeah, good boy. Anyway, Sam has gone out. He went into town to do some stuff. So the girls and I are doing chores tonight. Molly, come here. I wanted to tell you guys the ugly no, truth about horses. In particular, the ugly truth about my horse. This much, right? Yeah, yeah. So basically, uh, the ugly truth about my horse is that she is dirty. I already told you guys, but the ugly truth about horses is that in winter, in winter, it's just bad, you guys. Mine? Honey and doesn't. Never been yeah. 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 Honey is not a dirty horse, and Gracie sometimes gets dirty, but Willow's not a big dirty horse, but you guys, to be honest with you, why is it not focusing? To be honest with you, I bought Penny in October, and if I had bought her like in the middle of the winter and I got to see how dirty she was, when we went there, she was dirty. Her face is dirty, and I asked the lady, like, what's wrong with her eyes? She said, I haven't cleaned them yet. I have to come down. The last three days, I have had to come down and spend hours in the barn grooming her. My whole face gets covered in dust. My eyes get covered in dust. My glasses get covered in dust. Bucket, help me fill up this water. So I have the dirt here. I'm the bucket I'm going to take out. So I've had to like 
groom her whole body. I've had to bring warm cloths down from the house. I've had to wash her eyeballs because she rolls and buries her head in the mud. Like I, comment below if you have a dirty horse or if your horse is extra clean. Like I just am curious because I've never seen a horse as dirty as her. Like I spent so many hours cleaning her today and I'll come down, I'll come down tomorrow and she'll be as dirty like that again. But that is it for tonight. We have some plans coming up soon. Exciting stuff to share with you guys. You know, you even have dirt on your face a little. Honestly, it's just hard to have a horse that is so messy. And it's not just that she rolls in mud, it's also that when she's in heat, she pees so much and she just sprays all down her legs. Wait, do you want to see a tutorial on how I dump my bus, my wheelbarrow? And, whoa, whoa. And when Here, she I'll show you how I dump it. And when she does that, honestly, it's so hard to keep her clean. She's soaking wet. Okay, this is how I dump my wheelbarrow. It's this not is, full right now, but... This is how she dumps her wheelbarrow. Uh, I should have dumped my bucket, too. I dump it over. Wow, you're a genius, Sophie. It's almost like you created the whole thing of dumping wheelbarrows. I just wheelbarrows. show it because I was excited and I found a good easy way. Oh, uh, alright. Well. Because normally I feel just go like that and it's painful, but I go like... Yeah, I do both. I think what I mean to say is that the worst part for me is that it's winter and it's cold and she's wet all the time. So she's muddy on the top and she's wet and gross in the back. Like her legs are soaked. That's why I had to leave her in. I took her blanket off and I let her, like it left her in the nice warm barn and her tail dried out and her back end dried out a little bit. She just pees and pees and pees. I have something to say. All right, what do you Comment want to say? Comment your Roblox username and I'll add you. Comment your your Roblox username and she'll add you. Yeah, especially if you play Adopt Me. Especially if you play Adopt Me. If you want to play Adopt Me with Sophie, then go ahead and comment your Roblox username and maybe I'll post that on TikTok or someplace so that you can find all the kids. Anyway, that is it go for today. To yeah, the ghost has already gone up. That's Gabby. We're gonna call it's her the she ghost. She's quiet as ghost. She is quiet, just like Sam. They're both so quiet, but they're both so caring, and they both take care of Everyone everything. Everyone calls Gabby Gabber No, don't call her that. Call yes. her the ghost. Call her Gabber Dabber. Nickname her the ghost. See you guys tomorrow. Don't you know the